Welcome to Camutac Corporation. We have a tutorial video today to show you how to unlock your BlackBerry 8350i. So first things first, um, you're gonna need three things. First of all, if you have not installed, uh, make sure you install the CD that comes with the uh, BlackBerry that you have bought, or just go to BlackBerry.com and download the desktop software that they provide. Um, I already have it here. Second and most important part, you will need um, to download the service book file, which is the one that we're going to store restore to, so that you can have all the functions working on your cell phone. So to download that um, the file, I'll go with you. Just come to uh, www.chemitech.com and on the store you should see here in the software part here you should see the 8350i service book for boost mobile users so just buy that it's 199 very cheap buy it and download it okay after you have completed that bought it uh, they send you the link for you to download it so download it you have three downloads actually um, just save it to your desktop just in case if you have not saved to your desktop it should be under downloads folder um, but just you know if you have it downloaded somewhere else just drag it copy it or you know just bring it over to the desktop that will be much easier for you to find later on so okay so um, I have zipped the file or I have um, made the file as in raw archive so if you don't have RAR um, it's similar to zip I suggest you go to www.rarlabs.com and um, when you get there you're gonna see the downloads right here downloads um, just download either um, 86 or 64 bit which 86 is 32 bit it's right there download it, install it, and you should have it here. You should be able to use it. So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to extract this um, file. Okay. So right click on it. Uh, we're going to go here to extract here, which uh, is on desktop or wherever you have the file. And notice that when you do, automatically it comes up two files. One is uh, text files, which is instruction that I have written myself um, for you guys to see it just in case you have any questions um, and the service book that we're gonna need okay after we have done that um, we're gonna go to um, our cell phone before we open the, the blackberry desktop software and we're gonna have to restore the legacy um, SB okay so you're gonna go to your cell phone um, you're gonna go to the main menu the one that has all the icons you should see a little wrench there that is the options menu okay so just go to options and then you scroll all the way to um, the second option that is called advanced options and after you have advanced options um, the next step should be um, you scroll down to service book okay once you're there you're gonna hold alt and then you're gonna type in s as in sam B is in boy, E is in Edward, and B is in boy. I'm going to show you here that I have written this here on the instructions. Step one. So you're going to hold Alt key, and while holding it, type S B E B. Okay. And after that is done, you should have a me uh, little message saying "Legacy SB restored enabled." So just you know, click with the mouse, or just you know click OK and um, go back to the main menu and you're ready to plug it in and continue to the next step okay so just plug it in if you need to pause it and go get your cell phone or uh, whatever you need just pause the video and then we'll go from there okay so next step after it's plugged in if it's the first time it's gonna ask you to install install the um, phone on the windows just with a little bit you know it should install um, after that let's open the um, blackberry desktop software 
so that we continue with the restore okay once you plug it in you're gonna see here just like mine that it's connecting and um, if it's the first time that you actually connect into the um, desktop um, it should ask you for an update so don't do the update yet because you're gonna have to restore the file so you won't need to actually update now okay so just mine doesn't have any profile options you can choose yours if you want to um, I don't have one so click OK and it's gonna sync to your media okay media music video pictures I already have set it up my up so I should um, have everything you know ready to go and it should um, ask me to do backup or whatever yours maybe won't do this mine does it because I already have it set it up so so basically, every time you plug it in, this is what it's, what it's going to do. It's going to get all the medias that you, you choose to sync. Mine, I have music, pictures, and videos, and um, contacts. Okay, so you just click sync all or back up the, the, uh, the cell phone. In my case, I already have it set up, so I'm not going to do the complete process. I'm just going to show you where it is and how to, com how to you know go with it. Um, after you plug it in, there's nothing else going on when you click here on device it should see available the option for you to restore okay so just click restore and here on change folder you might not have this okay so here on change folder we're gonna go to the folder that we saved and we extracted the file in my case desktop and then we're gonna click OK and you should hear you should see here that it's only one which is the same one as 8350i service books v4 okay uh, make sure they have all device data and settings selected and then just click restore and it will take a little little while a uh, couple of seconds or minutes depending on your computer speed and cell phone but um, after it's done you should so it should show you I'm not gonna do it because I already have done it so I already tested my before I made this video <laughs> and um, after you have done it you should have you know everything ready to go and here instead of saying sync all you should say disconnect okay if you have completely completely um, finished and you have successfully done it you should have disconnected here just click on disconnect close the program um, what you're gonna have to do is you know just unplug the cable from the cell phone and after you have unplugged it uh, mine worked right away some I noticed that some of them don't so I suggest you do to do is uh, turn off the cell phone remove the battery from the back wait like 10 seconds and then put it back in turn it on It's gonna take a little while but it's worth the wait instead of you you know thinking that maybe there's something wrong with the phone and um, you should have the picture uh, text messaging and browser working perfectly okay if anything, um, just redo the process. If something went wrong, just you know, start from the beginning, start from scratch. Maybe you missed a, a something, a point, or maybe something to do. But um, there's also my email and my contact info over our website, camitech.com. And um, you know, if you have any questions or any doubt, make sure you, you know send us an email, contact us. We're more than glad to help you out. So, you know, just make sure you visit, um, browse through the store. We do custom computers repair and a lot more. So, feel free to browse and see whatever you like and purchase. And, um, you know, let us know if we, we can help you anyway. Okay? Alright, thank you for watching this tutorial.